Hello everyone. In this tutorial, what I want to talk about is uh, basically an introduction to morphs. And then I want to jump into layout and show you how to control those morphs with the morph mixer. So what I have here is uh, this Pac-Man character, and we also have some food for him, and we got a maze for him to, uh, you know, have some fun with. So what I want to do is zoom into his mouth, and let's turn off symmetry. And down here in the bottom right, we have the M, which stands for morph, and we're on the base. You never want to create a morph on the base of your character. So what we're going to do is go to new, and you see we have two different types. We have relative and absolute. I almost never use absolute. Uh, what these two mean, relative is relative to the scale position uh, rotation. So if you make a morph on relative and take it into layout, no matter where you move this object or how you rotate it, that morph will still work exactly as you made it. But if you make an absolute morph, it's going to be defined by where you create that morph uh, in Modeler. So if I make a morph right here, an absolute morph, and then I move this object or rotate it in layout, that morph is going to try to snap back to the origin as to where it was created. So I actually never use absolute morphs, I always stick with relative. So let's just go ahead and call this mouth.open and hit create. You can see new map mouth.open was created. We can just X out of that. And you can see down here, base, mouth open, just make sure you're on mouth open. And we're going to select the polygons here, at the bottom of the mouth. Hit T for move, and just move these down, like so. And also these right here. And to switch in and out of edges. Make it look decent. Move that up. Lasso selecting some polygons here. And Y for rotate. Make sure your action center is set to mouse. You can just rotate that down a little bit. Then move it down. And then I just want to grab this edge here because we're getting some pinching. Oops, and move it up. Let me go into a texture wire view and control T for drag. Oops. Make sure we're in symmetry mode, which is shift Y. Just move that up. All right. And then I want to go select this edge here and that one. Just move those up. And let's grab that point there, push that up. Maybe that one in there. Move it down. And yeah, just keep pushing these points around. For the sake of the tutorial, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. And I also want to grab these eyes. Because the mouth did raise up. So... I want to move those guys up a little bit and also rotate it down. And I also want to move the eyebrows up. And I'm just using T for move and Y for rotate. Those are the hotkeys, but the tools are also found under the modify tab. Move, rotate. Alright, let's go back to texture. So now what we can do is switch between our base and our mouth open. And I see something here. Okay, that looks fine for now. Back to base. So now what we can do is save this object just tap the S key. And we have this arrow in the top right hand corner here. So we're going to select that and hit send object to layout. 
and here we are in layout. Tap the 4 key to go into perspective. And what I'm going to do is open up the display options by hitting the D key. And I'm going to change the grid square size to 1 meter. There we go, that's better. And let's take our Pac-Man character. And let's go to the top view. I'm just going to move them right about, actually, scale them down a little bit. Right there is fine. And then let's take our food. Let's just move that over here. And we're probably going to need to scale that down as well. Okay. So how do we access the morph that we created? Well, you go into the object properties panel by hitting the P key, and there's a deform tab up here. Go to add displacement, and we're going to add the morph mixer. And you can see one endomorph. It's because we only created one morph. So you can select that and bring the panel in here. And under mouth, you can see we have mouth open. So let me uh, make room for this. All right, so if we drag this slider here, you can see that the mouth is opening up, but we're getting some weird deformations. So what we need to do, set that back to zero, and for the object properties, hit P again, go to geometry. We want the subdivision order to be last. Now, if we scrub through it, you can see it's fine. Zero that out again. So just to make the tutorial a little bit more inter interesting, um, so just to make the tutorial a little bit more interesting, uh, I just wanted to show you guys how to animate this morph with an envelope. So let's go ahead and set this to about uh, 30 frames is fine. And I'm going to drag the frame slider to frame 30. And let's just move this like so. So now if you click play, so we have a nice animation like that. And we might even want to make it 60 frames so it's not as fast. And you can move this keyframe by selecting that little dotted line there, which brings up the dope track. So you can select that keyframe and then left click and drag it to frame 60. All right, that's a little better. So what I want to do is get to the point where Pac-Man runs into his food, which is about right there. And I want to go into the envelope. Let me shrink this down a little bit. Yeah. And under this key right here, that's uh, add keys. So at frame 24, I'm going to add a key. And at zero, uh, it's going to be a value of 0%. And you can tap the right arrow key, to scrub through. And I'm going to say right at frame 26, I'm going to add another key but I want the value to be 100%. I'm also going to select these keyframes here by right-clicking and dragging, and I'm going to set the tension to 1, so it flattens that out. So now, if we scrub through here, you can see that Pac-Man opens up his mouth, but the ball is a little too high, so what I'm going to do is just move it down, and hit enter to create a key at frame zero. Okay, and then I'm going to delete the one by hitting the delete key that we made at frame 24. That's because auto key was turned on. We could actually shut that off. So now, see Pac-Man opens up, and I'm going to say that it's a little too early. So I'm going to select the keyframe at 26, and put it at frame 28, and put the first keyframe at frame 26. Oops. 26. There we go. And then I'm going to say at frame 30, I'm going to add another key. And I also want that to be at 100%. And I want to select those two and add some more tension. And then I'm going to say at frame 32, I want it to be back to zero. 
So we have this nice hump there, and you can see that the morph is now animated. So let's X out of that. Let's view this. All right. We can also get rid of the food by adding an envelope on the dissolve of that object. So let's go to the object properties of the food. And under render, you can see we have an object dissolve envelope. And if I just scrub through here, you can see that that object slowly disappears. So I'm going to scrub through my timeline and say that at frame 32, I want it to be completely gone. So 31, it's going to be there. 32, it's going to be gone. Let's go to the envelope. And with the key selected, we're going to go to frame 31. And it's going to be a value of 0 because it's not dissolved at all yet. And then at frame 32, I want it to be 100% dissolved. And we need to add some tension there. So select the keys with the right arrow, with a right clicking, and then add a tension of 1. And now, when you watch it, you can see that it's gone. So this was just an introduction on uh, how to create morphs and the difference between relative morphs and absolute morphs. And it's also a great way of learning um, how, envel how envelopes work inside of Lightwave because almost every attribute in Lightwave is keyable, even the dissolve of an object. And uh, of course, for the morphs, you have to control them with envelopes uh, using the morph mixer. So uh, I hope you learned a lot by this and you can you know, make a cool Pac-Man scene like this or uh, a more advanced character and keep adding morphs to it for the fingers and uh, the eyes and the mouth and you know, just uh, have fun with it.